We're here to solve this hard Sudoku puzzle by Ashish Kumar called Two Snakes. I'm going to start as I normally do by just marking some digits that I see twice in a set of rows or columns with notes around them. I've got two ones here, so I got another one, a one in some of these cells. I've got two twos in the middle rows, and this is the last spot for that too. I've got two nines and two fours. The four comes fourth to the right, nine here. In the bottom spaces, I have two fours, which puts in this four, which puts a four note up above. Nothing else repeats there. In these columns, I got two nines, which puts another nine. Um, now that I've actually filled in the space, I'll actually look that I have a five pointing into the space, which is worth marking. Nothing else interesting in those columns right now. I got two fours here for another four. I've already marked the ones and all the twos are in. On the far right, I've got two fours, put another four. Seeing that I've actually marked these notes over here, I've got a pointing pair, which will eliminate the third row as an option. Four has got to go uh, in the second row in the middle box, so that's the last space for it. That position now actually means this center box looks like a good one to look at with three, five, six, and nine to go. The nine eliminates these two cells. Another nine eliminates that cell, so we've got a last position for nine up top. Puts in a nine over here, a nine in one of these two cells. In the center box, nine has to actually be here and pushes the nine up. So all the nines are in the grid and it looks like we've got good progress from there. Um, something I didn't do as I marked this in was put in a five in this column, but this whole column looks interesting to look at now. I've got three, five, six, seven to go. The note of both of these sevens is pretty key. It means a seven comes down here and that leaves behind just a three, six pair which will then fill in a lot of the space. So that's going to be good progress. Um, what I'm actually seeing is this cell, which also is now in a box, it only is missing three, five, six, is another three, six. And so this forms a pair in this uh, row. It, it means that these digits two and eight have to go in these cells on the left and right. So those feel like they're worth more examination. And there aren't a lot of eights in the grid, but let's look at the twos. Um, in the seventh row, we also have a case of these same columns as here are the only spots that a two can go in. So it looks like we were forming an X-wing type pattern where uh, twos can't now be anywhere else in these columns. And what that means is in a box like this one, um, a two can come to the spot that was already in that X-wing spot. It can't be here though. So it, the last place for a two is there. Uh, in this uh, set of uh, cells, uh, two is seen by this. This is eliminated by the X-wing, so two can go here, but these are the only two spots for a two there. In this upper right corner, two comes across, two comes across, X-wing eliminates a cell, so these are the two cells. And down here, these are the two cells. That marking off of this corner looks somewhat constraining, so we haven't done all the accounting here, but Got two spots for an eight, two spots for a four, two spots for a two. So my guess is this is a naked single and it actually sees one, it sees a two eliminated by the X-wing, got three, four, five, six, eight, and nine all visible to it. So yes, that only has the option of a seven. Puts a seven down below in one of these two cells. Um, seven coming over here also puts a cell in the bottom row. So seven's gotta be in one of these spaces. This becomes a seven. What more can we do with that? We've got an eight coming up. Puts another eight coming up. In this bottom box, you also have a five that's got only two choices left for it. Um, this row is two, five, and eight. So over here, we've got two, eight. And look at that, that's gonna be pretty key. We actually now just formed a pair through the, what had been an X-wing pattern um, with this two, eight. And that's gotta do some interesting things. Well, it eliminates eights from these cells but that's not as much. It eliminates an eight down here. And what that actually means is we've got, uh, this is a two eight pair. So this is gonna be really key to mark because it means a seven is in one of these two cells. A seven coming down is left with just those two options. That eliminates this, which puts in a seven, puts in a two. And now that we've put in the digits that are enforced the X-wing pattern, this is gonna come pretty quickly. So we get these digits all through two over to here, um, a two up top, a four in the spot, a four in the spot. We've got uh, two eights to go in one of these bottom spots. We've got three, five, six. That's still not gonna get any resolution. Eight coming across here. Uh, this bottom space needs a one and three and seven and the one node is there. So a three can still go on the left. We've got three, six, eight 
Um, that's still got some flexibility, but the key thing is that a 3-6 in is in the spot. A uh, 5-7 is a pair here, and a 5 is forced up top there. So we've got 5-8 over on the right. 5's got to be here. 8's in the other spot, so that means an 8 is down below one of these two cells, and a 5 is in one of these two cells. This 8 and this 8 work together as a pointing pair, eliminate an 8 from this cell, so the 8's up top, 1 is down below. Uh, we've got a 3, 6 up top here. 6 is eliminated from the rightmost column, so we put 6, put in 3. That now gives this pattern and gives a 6 over here. We also have a 3, 6, 3, 6 uh, shape to the center space. Um, that means an 8 is now given one last spot down at the bottom. We've got one three six to go here, and not so much to go, but this is now the last spot for a five with a forced one six. Can we do more of the fives? Well, what we can say is that we don't want to get another five seven pair where these are all linked, but we've got a few options for this space. Looks like three is still pretty uh, flexible. One is still very flexible. This may help that there's a three in one of these cells. We've got one and six still in the space. Uh, actually, this is what it is. There's a five, seven that are going to eliminate seven from an option in this cell. So if I look at this cell, this cell looks like it can be one, eight, or seven, but one is seen, seven is seen. So eight must be in the cell, it means eight comes up. That now means this is a single of a six, which is a one, six. That one pushes this one, three, seven quite quickly. Uh, three, six resolves itself now. Uh, three, six resolves itself again. This is one with three, but this six being placed puts a three, six, puts in a six. That makes a seven, seven, five. Seven, five, another five down below, puts a three up top, three here, one, and one. So some good uh, aha moments throughout. The X-Wing sort of revealing itself in the twos was pretty interesting, but then really what I loved seeing was how we actually formed this two-eight pair um, through all these spots. We had two-eight chain uh, that then led to a four-seven in this row that got some more digits in other spots of the grid, including a seven here to put this two there. So really elegant. And not too difficult, but elegant and narrow path in that middle there to spot. And then at the end, it was uh, tracking carefully some singles. So I did stall out a little bit in the last minute, but we found the right key to look at. And that's the way to solve the Sudoku. So I hope you learned something through this video, and we'll see you again soon.